Hello there, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. This man survived two atomic bombs. His name is Tsutomu Yamaguchi, he was born on March 16, 1916, in Nagasaki, Japan. In 1945, Tsutomu Yamaguchi was working as a naval engineer in the city of Hiroshima in Japan. Even though there was a war going on in the Pacific, he kept himself busy by making plans for ships and oil tankers for the country. After he finished a three-month project and was getting ready to go home to see his wife and daughter, he saw a plane flying above. And the plane dropped something. It was an atomic bomb that was slowed down by a parachute. As the bomb went off in the sky, Yamaguchi jumped into a nearby ditch. The Enola Gay, the plane that dropped the bomb on the city, was only two miles from where Yamaguchi took cover. He was thrown into the air by the blast and landed in a nearby potato patch. When he opened his eyes, everything was black, and he couldn't see anything. The blast didn't make him go blind, but it did cover the sun with a huge cloud of dust. Yamaguchi had serious burns on his arms, face, and eardrums. As the dust settled, he saw a huge mushroom cloud above the city. About 80,000 people died right away in the blast, but Yamaguchi was able to find other survivors in the Mitsubishi shipyard. He then went to an air raid shelter. In the morning, he heard that the train station had survived, and that people were running as fast as they could to get there to get out of the city. Even injured, he walked through a city where buildings were falling apart, there were fires, and bodies had melted into the streets. He had to swim across a river full of burned bodies at one point. And Yamaguchi finally made it to the train, where he spent the night as it took him to Nagasaki, his hometown. When Yamaguchi got home, his wife and daughter didn't even recognize the burned man standing in front of them. Because his wife knew that he had been in Hiroshima, and when she saw him, all bandaged up, she thought he might be a ghost. After getting help at last, he went to bed and fell asleep for the night. The next day, Yamaguchi went to work like any other day, but his bosses sat him down and told him what had happened in Hiroshima. He told his bosses what he had seen, but they didn't believe him. They also say he is crazy, because they don't believe that one bomb could cause so much damage. During that meeting, the sky once again lit up with fire. The building was destroyed, and his bandages were blown away, but again he managed to survive. He worried for his family, so he rushed home. Thankfully they were lucky. At least 70 people are known to have been hurt by both bombings, but he is the only person who has been officially recognized by the Japanese government as surviving both explosions. In 2009, Yamaguchi found out that he had stomach cancer and was going to die soon. He died in Nagasaki on January 4, 2010, at the age of 93.